Hey everybody, y'all got a sneak peek at the bins in my video yesterday, A Day in the Life, when we were there with my sister. So I thought, let me grab the rest of this footage and talk you through what we got, what we didn't get, and show you all the other stuff that we saw. This is a plunger hat. I didn't get it. Part of me regrets it, and part of me is like, I made a wide choice, a wise choice, but how often do you see a plunger hat? Not often, my friend, not often. So if you see other things that I miss in the bins, you let me know in the comments down below and I will tell you what my thought process was. I always miss stuff, but we ended up getting quite a few things. There was a piece that uh, one of my kids was holding up a second ago that was a piece of a, like a shoulder stock from a Lego gun. And I'm looking for the rest of that ceramic pot but I don't think I find it I like looking at the hats because they're they're very light and you can usually get a fairly good profit for hats in the that you find in the bins this is some sort of Japanimation maybe I'm not 100% this was cool if she hadn't been broken I would have gotten this mermaid for sure but her hands were broken her tail was broken and I I couldn't have fixed her I don't know that the rest of her was even there, but some things are too far gone, I think. This day, it was a good day. I think it was maybe the first time we had brought my sisters to, my sister to the bins, but we found some pretty cool stuff. Let's peek. What else do we see here? There's a lot of garbage in there, but you, you know what? You dig and you find some really good stuff down at the bottom. New bin. What do we have here? Hmm. I don't remember what this is called. It was cute, but I was like, yeah, I don't. <laughs> random. I think I picked it up because I like random stuff. And this is a, I, I considered getting this because my kids like to play with toy weapons. But uh, I decided they have enough. I didn't even draw their attention to it. Make of it what you will. Lots of wire hangers. Douglas spoilers. Hmm. Handmade award. That would have been interesting. I should have read it further, but no. I didn't. That looks like maybe a frame. Frames can do okay. And I've actually I sold a couple of frames that I got at the bins. Oh, I thought I edited all this out, but apparently not. Ah, uh, this is something my sister found. It's a mineral and fossil box. My kids found this. She didn't end up getting this wooden bee thing. She, she's a beekeeper. But she decided, what am I going to do with this bee thing? And I'm not 100% sure that we got that camera either. But she did get these yoga cards. She uh, just got her license or whatever to, whatever to teach yoga. Her first set of hours that she needs. So my thought there is like, get that away from your face, child. And she was thinking about getting this dartboard thing to make a a holder for her essential oils, but she didn't end up getting it either. So at our bins, all of these type items are twenty for a buck ninety nine. So you can really get a lot of cool stuff to make profits on over here. And I can't remember if I ended up picking up a lot. I'm trying to be a little more selective. But you can find some pretty cool stuff sometimes. There was a really cool set of dishes there the other day that I almost got. But I was like, I don't need any dishes. What am I doing? Not for myself anyway. I guess I could have sold them. <laughs> That's what I'm here for, right? Those are cool like chargers. And they are sun shaped. They say made in Italy. I don't know. I think because of the condition. That's why I didn't get them. They were pretty scuffed up. But... I maybe could have repainted them, but I know myself, I know better than that. I'm not going to do it. They're just going to sit there till I redonate them. How far do you guys go? How far will you take a repair? Some people are super good at it. I, mine always looks like, wow, you really repaired that, didn't you? Good, good job, girl. Good job. So, more mugs. You know I like selling. That looks like a far side mug over there. 
Was it? Do I look at it? Do I walk away from it? I don't think I look. So I was looking for the rest of this box too, but I didn't find it. I think it's like a watchmaker. I'm not sure. That was cool. A seahorse. But I didn't get it. Eh. Is that a tr No, that was a frame of some sort. A long frame. This I did get. This is a catapult kit. I love getting stuff like this for my kids because like, it's like a good rainy day activity. I left the box behind just to subtract from the weight, but I took the instructions and all the pieces so that they could, I don't know, I like little kits like that and I can just say, here, go make this thing. And they do. <laughs> we have a lot of them. I find lots of those like science kits and I don't know, things like that. That's pretty cool, that Y. That probably may... I don't know. Uh, I, and then I start second-guessing myself, like, well, Y isn't a very common letter. So maybe they would find it more readily. Because nobody's buying them from the store. So they end up getting donated or something. And I talked myself right out of it. <laughs> do you do that to you? I more often talk myself into things. But I talked myself out of that one. And let's see what else we've got. That's a big old puzzle. I see a part of a marble run, but it really looks like a really scattered. More hangers. Some fan blades. I wish I was more crafty and I because I think, oh, what could I do with those? What could I make with that? But nope. Didn't get them. I just saw a spool of CDs. A friend of mine's kid likes playing with them. And so I was saying, oh, I should look out for those for you. Well, too late. I missed them. <laughs> but I see them frequently. Ah, brass candlestick. My sister's making, like, chimes and stuff with those because they sound, some of them sound good. So I've been picking them up and letting her listen and see if it's something she likes, if it makes the right kind of sound. I can't remember if she ended up getting that or not. stuff. Some of those looms. I saw some looms for like those knitting looms. Okay. More stuff. I wonder what becomes of all these fans and light fixtures that nobody buys. Did they just end up in a dump? Because certainly somebody can use them somewhere. you see anything that I'm missing because as of right now it's I'm not seeing anything hmm <laughs> ah, old alarm clock this is something I wish I'd gotten a Scrabble board. There was another Scrabble board once, one other time I went, one of the wooden ones. And I really wish I'd gotten it now. Because I think people use them to make wall art and stuff or who knows what. But I probably could have gotten like a separate price on it because it was pretty big and heavy. But I didn't do it. I didn't do it. I saw a couple of these, just random cowboy costumes. They might have been an okay pickup, you know, like for dress up for kids for Halloween, but this was also after Halloween, so I didn't, there's another one of those kits. This one might be a challenge because it's not in English, 
And I got this sound machine, and I gave it to my kids. And it's one of those things that you just kind of regret later. I've already sold those. Those are some Frank Lloyd Wright coasters. They just shipped out yesterday or the day before. They sold. And they had quite a bit of, you know, they weren't exactly amazing in amazing condition, but I don't know. They did. They sold. I can't remember. It was like 10 or 11 bucks that they sold for. And because they were ceramic, they I picked them up for probably about 10 cents. Bookends. I like selling bookends. I've had to become a little more particular about them. Party light. Hmm. Gotta dig down. That's one of those electric candles. That's pretty cool. I was looking for the mate for that boot. That would have been cool to get. One of my kids wears nothing but boots like that. Duck boots and... I don't know. What's up with y'all? My little frame. These were some other ones I considered getting, uh, these fabric napkins. We use fabric napkins at home, and they might have sold, I don't know. They were pretty light, I guess I probably maybe should have got them. I mean, yeah, like I said, we use fabric napkins, and if nothing else, we could have washed them and used them. Just saved them from the landfill. Some soap. I don't like that the smell of Irish Springs just is so harsh. I just can't just can't. What else are we going to dig for here? I want to see what that light fixture thing is. Oh, it's broken. Never mind. Jude Fest. Hmm. Oh, there's Slimer. Another thing I wish I'd gotten. It was, I mean, it had the tag on it, but then it was also broken at the top, like the loop on the top. It must have been in weird condition because I, I didn't get it. Slimer from Ghostbusters. What else have we got here? Doggy. It's a pretty blue. I don't get it though. If nothing else, it's super interesting just to see what's in there. I don't know. There's, I guess it's that that was wrapped up in that tree. It's got some silver beads and yeah, the silver. It's just, I mean, it's that I, I think a lot of people who are resellers have this desire for <laughs> the unknown, the treasure hunt. It was a cute picture. It's just so much sometimes. I'm, my, my eyes start just glazing over when I'm there. And I know I'm passing stuff up, but sometimes it's just so much to take in when you're in the looking through the bins that you just know, like, I am pretty sure I'm missing something here. What was that? It looked like a flat gun, toy gun or something. That, I think, is a vintage Snoopy plush, but he was in such, like, dingy shape. I maybe could have washed him, but I decided against it. I've got so much stuff. Something, a rack. Maybe a travel guide or something. 
I wasn't sure what this... I mean, it looked like a Mustang type, but maybe it was just for a school mascot. I wasn't sure. Hmm. There's a NASA dress-up helmet. I didn't even notice it said NASA on it. I think I end up getting this yellow hat. I'm pretty sure I got that. Just because it was unusual. And a Bible. I like to look through. I I do like to sell Bibles, but that one just looked like a normal Bible. That was it. I bet that probably would have sold. That little zipper coin purse from Puerto Rico. And this I got. This charm. Buddha. Where is that? <laughs> it's around here somewhere. I haven't listed it yet. Yeah, it's pretty cool. I liked that belt buckle too. It was interesting. It looked like a bottle opener on it. We're just going to stare at these wires apparently. I ended up giving away that last bag of bristle blocks that I got because I ended up maybe it was from no I don't think it was from this trip, but I ended up collecting a bunch because I was just not sure about if they sold. It would take so many of them to make a good profit on them, so I decided oh you know what maybe I did end up getting these from here, but I ended up giving them away to a lady. Uh, we have one of those like buy nothing sites in our area, and I. Uh, I just gave them away. I could have redonated them, but meh. It's good karma. Be a good neighbor, that kind of thing. Hmm. Looks like part of a vacuum cleaner, maybe? What is that? The Ruger LCP. I have zero idea what that is. I probably should have looked it up. Let's see. This is something else I should, probably should have gotten to. This little Fisher Price minibus. I don't know what I was thinking. Why didn't I get it? I think what my thought process was, oh, the people aren't there. I'm not going to get it. But I think it will probably would have still been a good pick up. I don't know. You, sometimes you just go in and your thought process is I don't know. Out of whack. And I didn't get it. Don't see anything else in there that I want to look at. Lots of randoms. Baskets. Tubs, poster scale. Hmm. Was that a what is that metal hoop thing? Titanic, Branson, Missouri. Huh, that might have been a good pickup too. I didn't think about it at the time. We ended up getting this on a whim because we like Halloween stuff and thought, oh maybe it's you just needs a battery or something and it it didn't end up working. It wasn't corroded or anything, so I'm not sure why why it wasn't working. But it didn't work. We tried putting new batteries in it, and it was no go. I'm almost positive I'm missing stuff. I hope y'all are leaving comments. Little curio type thing, shadow box. I look at this lunchbox. Oh yeah, are you smarter than a fifth grader? Lunchbox. Every elementary school kid's dream. Lunchbox. Oh no, it's just a game. Comes in a lunchbox. Cute. 
Now what have we? Oh, my sister's like, who's this guy? I'm like, I don't know. You want him? No. <laughs> okay, throw him back. And I like raw tissues. I do get this. My kids like pop guns and stuff. So there were still some little caps in there that were good. And they brought it home and popped them. <laughs> Here we're talking. This is that was a piece from in the uh, ride along or day in the life that we did. And she was talking about that jacket that looked like something she would wear when she was a girl, when she was a younger girl, that is. She probably could still wear it. We do get this, but that's for more of my, my kids because the glitter, the glitter, Fabcon, that would, you know, oh, I, I know I didn't get that because it was gross, but yeah, that hat probably would have sold if it was in better condition. And who knows, some gross hats sell anyway. Or it could be cleaned or something like that, but I didn't get it. Look in here, trying to figure out what we've got. What are these balloon things? I wish I'd have looked at that. There's a Melissa and Doug toy, but it was broken. Printer paper for, what's the occasion? Party. Hmm. No, I don't see anything. Oh, I do see something. This is that gift card I showed you guys once before. It's a Target gift card, and there was five bucks on it. So, and I accidentally showed it in a video when I was doing the haul, and I thought, oh, somebody's going to see the back of this and, like, go redeem it, and nobody did. I'm so proud of everybody. Everybody, come on. You start thinking that there's just like, bad people in the world, but then... Nobody took advantage of the situation, so I've already uploaded it to my Target account. Yay! Five extra bucks for whenever. I mean, come on, what am I going to buy at Target for five bucks? I guess I could go to the dollar section. There's that camera. Oh, my sister's looking at a thing over there. And then I look up the Target card while I'm there, because you can look it up on their website to see if it is still good or it has money on it. There it is. Five bucks. That's and it, my kid was like, "Oh, it's not working. I'm pushing it, and it doesn't light up." I'm like, I don't care if it lights up. It's five dollars. <laughs> then what are we looking at here? Nothing. A big bunch of nothing. Hmm. I think I looked that up too and it wasn't really worth picking up. <clears throat> Table leg, anyone? It does. I mean, if you've been to the bins, tell me what you think. Does it just get... It's like your eyes start crossing with everything. And you're just... I mean, I think that's why you can still find stuff after people have dug through them and you walk in and you walk up to a bin and you're like, oh, look at this cool thing. Because I think other people just do, either they're looking for different stuff or your eyes just go wonky and you miss things. Elaine ended up getting this rug. It was a world market rug, first of all. that Their stuff is expensive. But she was going to take it home and clean it up and use it on, she's got a big patio. So she's going to leave it out on the patio. What else? So as I take the last, I don't know, 30 seconds or so here to dig through, I would like to thank you for coming to watch this video on my channel. And I hope you enjoyed it. Why don't you go down there and give it a like or a comment. Let me know that you came by. And I will see you on the next one very soon. Thanks for hanging out, everybody.